The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V. E. Schwab is a mesmerizing tale that follows the life of a young woman, Adeline Addie LaRue, who in a desperate bid to avoid an arranged marriage and live a life of her own, makes a Faustian bargain with a dark god she calls Luck. Addie wishes for the freedom to live forever and to be her own master, but she fails to consider the fine print of such a deal. As a result, Luck curses her with eternal life, but at a great cost. She will be forgotten by everyone she meets the moment she steps out of their sight. The novel spans three centuries, beginning in 1714 in a small village in France. Addie is a dreamer who yearns for a life filled with experiences beyond the limited expectations of women of that era. After she prays to the gods for a way out, the old god of darkness answers her call at nightfall, a time that belongs neither to the day nor to the dark a loophole in the rules that divine beings of that world follow. The god grants her wish for freedom, dooming her to be forever unseen and unheard, a ghost in the lives of others. Addie quickly learns the harsh realities of her new existence. She can neither make a mark nor leave any tangible evidence of her presence. Her family forgets her, people she meets forget her immediately, and she can't even tell her own story, as her name can't be spoken or written. Despite this, Addie's indomitable spirit drives her to find loopholes and ways to make a lasting impact throughout history. She learns languages, culture, and survives through stealing when she must, as she can't own anything. One of her few comforts is her encounters with Luke, who visits her every year on the anniversary of their deal, tempting her to surrender her soul to him, which she resolutely refuses. As the narrative unfolds, Addie's tale alternates between her past and present, a present that is set in 2014 in New York City. Addie has adapted, finding joy in the ephemeral nature of human experience and art, influencing artists throughout history to capture her likeness, even if they don't remember who inspired them. When her brief relationships inevitably end with her being forgotten, she moves on, never aging, a witness to the march of time and the changing world. However, everything changes when Addie meets Henry Strauss, a young man who works in a bookshop. To her astonishment, Henry remembers her after they part ways, shattering the rules of Addie's curse. Hungry for human connection, Addie is drawn to Henry, who proves to be the first person in 300 years who can remember her. As they embark on a romantic relationship, Addie feels the joy of being known for the first time in centuries. Henry, though, has his own secret, a deal he made to be truly seen by others as he yearns for love and affirmation, but which, much like Addie's bargain, came with unforeseen consequences. He is cursed to be loved and remembered, but only for a year, after which he will die. As their relationship deepens, Addie and Henry find solace and understanding in each other's similarly impossible situations. Addie's feelings for Henry grow, and she is faced with the reality of his mortality and limited time. Ultimately, the couple's time together is marred by Luke, who grows envious and tries to seduce Addie into surrendering herself to him. Luck uses his power to try and manipulate Addie, bringing her to the brink of giving in. However, Addie is not to be underestimated. Through her long life, she has learned to be cunning and resourceful. Addie comes to a profound realization. Her influence on the world can be measured in the ideas she's inspired, the art that captures her image, and the impression she leaves in fleeting moments. She understands that the memory of her existence is engraved in these legacies, even if her name is not. As Henry's year draws to a close, he and Addie grapple with the limited time they have left together, the weight of their individual deals, and their desires to leave a mark on the world. Addie's love for Henry forces her to confront Luke and negotiate the terms of her deal with him in order to save Henry. She devises a plan that utilizes her knowledge of Luck's character and the intricacies of their agreement to outwit him. Addie comes to terms with the nature of her immortality and the ephemerality of human connections, choosing to make the most of the moments she shares with Henry despite their fleeting nature. As they spend Henry's last days together, Addie's story becomes intertwined with his, and she helps him to see the value in his own life. In a final confrontation with Luke, Addie makes a calculated and unexpected move, offering to give up her soul to Luck in exchange for Henry's freedom from his own deal, 
but only when she is ready to surrender, betting on her own strength to endure. Addie's resilience and cleverness allow her to renegotiate the terms of her own curse, winning back some measure of power over her situation. The Invisible Big Life of Addie LaRue is a narrative rich with themes exploring memory, identity, the human need for recognition, and the quest for meaning in a fleeting world. The story of Addie LaRue is a poignant and evocative journey that captivates readers with its exploration of the human spirit's resilience and the bittersweet tension between the permanence of art and the transience of life. The novel ends with an open-ended resolution, leaving Addie's future to the imagination and the impact she will continue to leave upon the world, even as her struggle with Luke and her unforgotten existence goes on. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.